The United Nations Environment Program UNEP, an agency of the United Nations, coordinates the organization's environmental activities and assists developing countries in implementing environmentally sound policies and practices. It was founded by Maurice Strong, its first director, as a result of the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment Stockholm Conference in June 1972 and has overall responsibility for environmental problems among United Nations agencies. However, international talks on specialized issues, such as addressing climate change or combating desertification, are overseen by other UN organizations, like the Bonn based Secretariat of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. UNEP's activities cover a wide range of issues regarding the atmosphere, marine and terrestrial ecosystems, environmental governance and green economy. It has played a significant role in developing international environmental conventions, promoting environmental science and information and illustrating the way those can be implemented in conjunction with policy, working on the development and implementation of policy with national governments, regional institutions in conjunction with environmental non-governmental organizations NGOs. UNEP has also been active in funding and implementing environment-related development projects. UNEP frequently uses the alternative name UN Environment. UN Environment has aided in the formulation of guidelines and treaties on issues such as the international trade in potentially harmful chemicals, transboundary air pollution, and contamination of international waterways. Relevant documents, including scientific papers, are available via the UNEP document repository. The World Meteorological Organization and UN Environment established the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change (IPCC) in 1988. UN Environment is also one of several implementing agencies for the Global Environment Facility (GEF) and the Multilateral Fund for the Implementation of the Montreal Protocol, and it is also a member of the United Nations Development Group. The International Cyanide Management Code, a program of best practice for the chemicals use at gold mining operations, was developed under UN Environment's aegis. History The need of the developing laws such as the International Labour Organization the Food and Agriculture Organization and the World Health Organization led to the 1972 UN Conference on Human Environment the Stockholm Conference to tackle the pollution caused by the Industrial Revolution during the 1960s and 1970s. In this conference, various topics including marine life, protection of resources, environment change, disasters related to nature, and biological change were discussed. This conference resulted in a Declaration on the Human Environment Stockholm Declaration and the establishment of an environmental management body, which later was named United Nations Environment Programme UNEP was established by General Assembly Resolution 2997. Headquarters were established in Nairobi and Kenya with a staff of 300, including 100 professionals in a variety of fields, and with a five-year fund of more than $100 million. At the time, $40 million were pledged by the United States and the remainder by 50 other nations. The Voluntary Indicative Scale of Contribution established in 2002 has the role to increase the supporters of the UNEP. The finances related to all programs of UNEP is voluntarily contributed by UN member states. The Environmental Fund, which all nations of UNEP invest in, is the core source of UNEP's programs. Between 1974 and 1986 UNEP produced more than 200 technical guidelines or manuals on environment including forest and water management, pest control, pollution monitoring, the relationship between chemical use and health, and management of industry. Governance <inaudible> 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 Topic Executive Director 
UNEP's current acting executive director Joyce MSUYA took office in November 2018, following the resignation of Eric Solheim. Prior to that appointment, she was UNEP's deputy executive director. In December 1972, the UN General Assembly unanimously elected Morris Strong to be the first head of UN Environment. Also Secretary-General of both the 1972 United Nations Conference on the Human Environment, which launched the World Environment Movement, and the 1992 Earth Summit, Strong has played a critical role in globalizing the environmental movement. The position was then held for 17 years 1975 to 1992 by Dr. Mustafa Kemal Tolba, who was instrumental in bringing environmental considerations to the forefront of global thinking and action. Under his leadership, UN Environment's most widely acclaimed success—the historic 1987 agreement to protect the ozone layer—the Montreal Protocol was negotiated. He was succeeded by Elizabeth Dowdswell (1992–1998), Klaus Topfer (1998–2006), Arkham Steiner (2006–2016), and Eric Solheim (2016–2018). Topic: List of executive directors. Topic: Environment Assembly. The United Nations Environment Assembly is UNEP's governing body. Created in June 2012 to replace the Governing Council, it currently has 193 members and meets every two years. Topic: Structure. UNEP's structure includes seven substantive divisions Early Warning and Assessment Environmental Policy Implementation Technology, Industry and Economics Regional Cooperation Environmental Law and Conventions Communications and Public Information Global Environment Facility Coordination DGEF Topic Activities UNEP's main activities are related to climate change including the territorial approach to climate change TACC disasters and conflicts Disasters and Conflicts UNEP has endeavored to lighten the influence of emergencies or natural disasters on human health and to prepare for future disasters. It contributes to the reduction of the origin of disasters by controlling the balance of ecosystems and actively supports Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction which aims to reduce the risk of disasters DRR. As well as preventing natural disasters, the UNEP supports countries such as to make laws or policies which protect the countries from getting serious damage by disasters. Since 1999 it has helped 40 countries to recover from the effect of disasters Ecosystem management Environmental governance Environment under review UNEP provides information and data on the global environment to stakeholders including governments, non-governmental organizations and the public for them to engage in realizing the Sustainable Development Goals. The information which UNEP shares is based on the latest science and is collected in a proper way. This makes policy makers find reliable information effectively. Through this the Environment Outlook and the Sustainable Development Goals Indicators stakeholders can have access to information easily. In addition, the UN Environment Live Platform and Online Access to Research in Environment or, provide transparent information collected by UNEP. Harmful substances Resource efficiency Notable achievements 
UNEP has registered several successes, such as the 1987 Montreal Protocol for limiting emissions of gases blamed for thinning the planet's protective ozone layer, and the 2012 Minamata Convention, a treaty to limit toxic mercury. UNEP has sponsored the development of solar loan programs, with attractive return rates, to buffer the initial deployment costs and entice consumers to consider and purchase solar PV systems. The most famous example is the Solar Loan Program sponsored by UN Environment helped 100,000 people finance solar power systems in India. Success in India's solar program has led to similar projects in other parts of the developing world, including Tunisia, Morocco, Indonesia and Mexico. UNEP sponsors the Marshlands Project in the Middle East. In 2001, UN Environment alerted about the destruction of the marshlands when it released satellite images showing that 90% of the marshlands had been lost. The UN Environment, "...support for environmental management of the Iraqi marshland," began in August 2004, to manage the marshland area in an environmentally sound manner. UN Environment has a program for young people known as Tunza. Within this program are other projects like the AEO for Youth, International Environmental Education Program 1975 For two decades, UNESCO and UNEP led the International Environmental Education Program 1975 which set out a vision for, and gave practical guidance on how to mobilize education for environmental awareness. In 1976, UNESCO launched an environmental education newsletter Connect as the official organ of the UNESCO UNEP International Environmental Education Program It served as a clearinghouse to exchange information on environmental education in general and to promote the aims and activities of the IEEP in particular, as well as being a network for institutions and individuals interested and active in environment education until 2007, climate change UNEP in 1989, 29 years ago, predicted, "...entire nations could be wiped off the face of the earth by rising sea levels if the global warming trend is not reversed by the year 2000." UNEP in 2005, 14 years ago, predicted, 50 million people could become environmental refugees by 2010, fleeing the effects of climate change. Glaciers are shrinking at record rates and many could disappear within decades, the UN Environment Programme said on 16 March 2008. The scientists measuring the health of almost 30 glaciers around the world found that ice loss reached record levels in 2006. On average, the glaciers shrank by 4.9 feet in 2006, the most recent year for which data are available. The most severe loss was recorded at Norway's Breidelblikbrea glacier, which shrank 10.2 feet in 2006. Glaciers lost an average of about a foot of ice a year between 1980 and 1999. But since the turn of the millennium the average loss has increased to about 20 inches. Electric vehicles At the 5th Magdeburg Environmental Forum held from 3 to 4 July 2008, in Magdeburg, Germany, UN Environment and Car Manufacturer Daimler called for the establishment of infrastructure for electric vehicles. At this international conference, 250 high-ranking representatives from the world of politics and non-government organizations discussed solutions for future road transportation under the motto of Sustainable Mobility The Post-2012 CO2 Agenda Circular Economy UN Environment is the co-chair and a founding partner along with groups such as the Ellen MacArthur Foundation for the platform for accelerating the circular economy, which is a public-private partnership of over 50 global organizations and governments seeking to support the rapid transition to a global circular economy. The Regional Seas Programme The world's only legal programme which was established in 1974 for the purpose of protecting the oceans and seas at the regional level. 
More than 143 countries participate in 18 regional programs including Caribbean region, East Asian Seas, Eastern African region, Mediterranean region, Northwest Pacific region, Western Africa region, Caspian Sea, Black Sea region, Northeast Pacific region, Red Sea and Gulf of Aden area, South Asian Seas, South Easy Pacific region, Pacific region, Arctic region, Antarctic region, Baltic Sea, and Northeast Atlantic region. Each program consists of countries which share the same sea and they manage the sea at the regional level. The programs are controlled by secretariats or regional coordinating units (RCUs) and regional activity centers (RACs). UNEP realizes the protection of the seas by promoting international and regional conventions through education and training based on the assessment of how the region is polluted and how the pollution damages human body. Reports UNEP publishes many reports, atlases and newsletters. For instance, the Fifth Global Environment Outlook assessment is a comprehensive report on environment, development and human well-being, providing analysis and information for policy makers and the concerned public. One of many points in the GEO5 warns that we are living far beyond our means. It notes that the human population is now so large that the amount of resources needed to sustain it exceeds what is available. In June 2010, a report from UN Environment declared that a global shift towards a vegan diet was needed to save the world from hunger, fuel shortages and climate change. International years. 2007 International Year of the Dolphin International Patron of the Year of the Dolphin was HSH Prince Albert II of Monaco, with special ambassador to the cause being Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys musical group. 2010 International Year of Biodiversity 2011 International Year of Forests 2012 International Year for Sustainable Energy for All 2013 International Year of Water Cooperation see International Observance and List of Environmental Dates. Reform Following the publication of Fourth Assessment Report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in February 2007, the «Paris Call for Action» Read out by French President Jacques Chirac and supported by 46 countries called for the United Nations Environment Programme to be replaced by a new and more powerful United Nations Environment Organization UNEO to be modeled on the World Health Organization. The 46 countries included the European Union nations, but notably did not include the United States, Saudi Arabia, Russia, and China, the top four emitters of greenhouse gases. In December 2012, following the Rio Plus 2O summit, a decision by the General Assembly of the United Nations to strengthen and upgrade the UN Environment Programme UN Environment and establish universal membership of its governing body was confirmed. Topic Funding Topic Twenty eighteen funds withholding In September 2018, the Dutch government announced it would withhold $8 million in funding to UNEP until nepotism issues with regard to the head of the UN Environment Programme. Sweden and Denmark stopped funding as well. A spokesman for the Norwegian Institute of International Affairs said the freezing of funds was probably unprecedented. See also Sources This article incorporates text from a free content work
Licensed under CC by SA License Statement, Issues and Trends in Education for Sustainable Development, 26, 27, UNESCO. To learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see this how-to page. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use.